welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaya. Hi. So today I wanted to share with you guys some very last minute Father's Day gift ideas. So I went to the store today after work and I was like, you know what? This would be a good video because if anybody is like me and they are a procrastinator, they probably haven't shopped for their dad yet. So I was like, I'm gonna make this easier on you guys and I'm gonna go to Academy and I'm gonna find the things that are on sale and the things that would make good gifts and that you can make them look really nice if you want to on a basket and whatnot and share it with you guys. So here it is. Let's get started. All right, so let's get right into it. The first thing that I got was this shirt. These are the Magellan shirts. These are very similar to Columbia shirts. Um, but they are a little bit less expensive. So this one was $24.99 and these shirts, they actually had them, sorry, something's like itching my back. Um, these shirts, they have them for buy one, get one, 50% off. That is right. So this was $24.99 and then you get the second one for 50% off. Yay! So let's see, wait, how much was this one? Because I thought they were $29.99. Okay, so this one was $29.99, but that's fine. So it was like $29.99 for this one. And then I guess I got this one for 12 bucks because this one was 24. So these two are great gifts. If your dad is like mine, they like really fresh shirts for the summer. They even use them as like a going out shirt and stuff like that because they are nice, they can use them on every day-to-day -day basis, or they can take them to church if they really, really want to, you know? So that's that. The next thing that I got, I got a Yeti cup. These cups normally are super duper expensive. Well, not super duper, but you know what I mean. They're like 34 bucks, right, 35 bucks. Well, right now they're having a special at Academy and they are 20% 20, 20 off or something like that, so, I believe it said on the little paper it was like seven dollars off and so heck yeah you, everybody knows that yeti rarely goes on sale so if you're looking for a good time to go buy a yeti cup right now is the time especially like for yourself like i kind of wanted to get me one but whatever um i already have one so it would be very rude of me to try and go and get one so anyways <laughs> um so this one is the Rambler 30 ounce tumbler. It's in the color sand. So if you guys are looking for this exact one, exact one, it is at Academy. Go find it. It is only $24. So go get it. So it's either 24 or 27. I'm not sure. So that was something else that I think would be a really good gifts for dad. You know, this is something that they can take with them to work every morning. And if you wanted to add like accessories or something, there's the lid one that comes with the straw. If you're more like the kind of person that likes your dad likes to drink out of a straw instead. I don't know if you're, I feel like most dads are like old school and they're like even take the top off and they're just like chugging it or whatever. But that's on them. I don't know. Anyways, so the next thing that I got, okay, so those were like my big gifts. And then I was like... Uh, I feel like it's still like it looks just so empty blah 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 so I was like I'm gonna make it cute and so I was on my way to the liquor store <laughs> and I remember well I realized that this jack oh my gosh there's a fly in here and it's driving me crazy <laughs> stop <laughs> oh I can't think what flies are flying like that <laughs> anyways so i was like jacking did you just see it go across my face right now oh my god i cannot stop seriously it's still going it's like hitting the mirror that is behind me like just slamming straight into it how is it still alive stop oh my gosh I cannot stand flies. They are one of my biggest pet peeves. Mm. Okay, anyways, so I went to the liquor store and I was like, you know what would be so cute? A Coke, what is it? Jack Daniels and Coke. Jack and Coke, how cute. And I was like, this would be such a cute gift because you know, you've seen it for grooms and things like that. And like when people, like when groom, or when the guy asked his groomsmen to be, what are they called? Are they called groomsmen? Whatever. Whenever they call or ask them, kind of like, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to go into it. And then I decided to go into a more personalized 
point of view and that's whenever you get the tiny little things so I got some gum because my stepdad loves gum so he's always he always has gum with him I got some candy because he's always stealing my candy and it's so annoying and so I always just get him some because why not and so then I also got some seeds because dads so now that that's done and now that I've showed you guys what I got let me show you how to make a cute basket out of it real quick all right, you guys, so for the first basket that I want to share with you, it's the Jack and Coke basket. So basically for this one, all I did was I got that Coke and literally $2 at the liquor store, probably even cheaper at Walmart. And then I added the seeds, which were $2, and I added this little Jack and Coke bottle, which I got at the liquor store, and it was only like $8. And then this cup, which remember it was on sale at um, Academy. So when you put it all together, it actually comes up with this really cute and very fathery, Father's day -y basket. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more tissue right here so that way it stands up a little bit more straight or you can see it a little bit more. So watch, I'll put this in here and then I'm gonna stick this one in there and then I'll push this one out a little bit. So there you go. So this is your first example of what you can get dad on not like a super, um, you know like not with not spending too much if you're on a budget or anything but you still want to get your dad something i feel like this is a really good gift and it's really inexpensive so go get it so we have this one and remember this stuff was really cheap so just go get it girlfriend you know the next gift idea is actually included with that if you wanted to you like that idea, but you're like, no, that's still, like, I still need a little bit more. You just want to have a little bit more pizzazz or whatnot. What you can do is you can grab your shirts, since you already got these for dad, and they were on sale, and you fold them up, you know, you just fold them, and then you roll them. Hold on, let me show you. And so then all you do is you just roll the shirts. You roll them like this. There you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in this basket. This is an old basket that I've already had here at the house for a long time. But honestly, like, you can go get a new basket or you can just use one that you already have since it's probably just going to stay with you if you still live with dad. So, there's that. You use your shirt and then you just roll it again. This is not a very nicely rolled shirt but it is what it is. And so you just put them in the back like so. And then you grab the tissue from the, well, I'm just gonna take it from the last bag, but I'm grabbing that tissue and I'm filling in the front part of this basket. So let me show you. I'm gonna fill in the front part. I'm gonna add the Yeti cup right in the middle because it looks really cool like that. I'm gonna add the Jack to this side. I'm gonna add some gum because we already got the gum. And then we're gonna add the seeds to the back actually because I feel like it adds a really cool look to it if we just add it like that. And we're gonna add some candy to this side or honestly wherever. You can just stick things in the basket and just make it look nice. And do we really wanna put this Coke? You really don't have to. This is mostly like a, just if you really, really want to type of thing. Let me put a little bit more paper in there. I'm actually just going to use this bag as an example because I ran out. But you just stuff it in there and then bam, there you go, girlfriend. There you go. Another awesome Father's Day gift. So, basket. So, basically, this is how I'm going to give my dad his basket. Um... As you can see, it has everything in it and it fit pretty perfectly. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for like a really inexpensive basket or something that you can reuse at home, this is a great one. They have those at Dollar Tree. So I know they have them obviously at Walmart and all the other stuff and it's awesome. But you can pick whatever color you want. You can even add some ribbon here. I'm not going to because you know, I just wanted to show you guys very last minute what you can put in a basket just to make it look really awesome and share with you guys some ideas of what you can get your dad for Father's Day. And you guys are not even looking at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And 
I hope you guys go shopping and get your dad some gift or something. Also, before I'm freaking done and I just keep rambling on, if you guys wanted to do something like you're like, oh, that's still a little bit too much or something, you can just get a shirt. Like literally get one of the shirts. You know, they were like one of them was $24.99. Grab a shirt, like put some ribbon around it and then add like, like if your dad doesn't drink or something, like add some Skittles. And then like a card with some ribbon and just say happy father's day dad and then you could also do or if you think the jack and coke idea is cute you could literally just do the jack and coke if you can't afford a yeti or something like that they also have really inexpensive cups at walmart at anywhere that you go everybody now has some kind of cup that is similar to a yeti cup it does not have to be a yeti cup that is just for like you know name brands or whatever but you can get any of them and that would be a really cute gift so you could even do this and you could put some ribbon around it and then just a, a card that says happy father's day there you go simple eight dollar ten ten dollar um gift right there because why not so that is it for this video i hope it wasn't too confusing and that you guys got some ideas out of this i know it was all over the place i will do my best for the next one but i just wanted to make sure that i got it out there and shared with you guys so for whoever is looking for good father's day gift ideas academy is your place i found everything there they even had so many other good deals so if you're looking go look there um and if you don't have an academy by you go to like what is it dick sporting goods or you could even find all this stuff at just like Walmart, I feel like. You could find a pretty, well, I don't know. Yeah, you can have, you can find shirts similar to this at Walmart. You can get like a t-shirt that's like, has a funny saying or something like that. It really does not have to be a big gift. I think dads are more moved by the thought that you thought about them. I think that's what, honestly, it comes down to. It's like, oh, they thought about me when they got me this. So I feel like I've always been a big, big fan of giving people gifts. And I've always loved the idea of like getting something that they like needed or something that they've always wanted. But, you know, like things like that, that they would say, oh, I want this. And they just forget about it. It's like, I want to be that person that remembers what they wanted. So just think of those things. What does your, what does your dad always say? Oh, I want and then just be like oh like that's a good idea or things that they like a lot like always chewing on gum or just little habits like that those are the things that are the most meaningful and that always you know mean a lot to them so i hope you guys have a great father's day with your pops with your dads with your dadas with your daddies whatever <laughs> um i hope you guys enjoy it make sure to give them lots of love and if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to my channel because hopefully I will keep posting more videos because we all know that this girl is a very big procrastinator. So I will see you soon, I hope. And I hope you guys have a great, awesome rest of your day, rest of your week, whatever it may be. Bye!